Okay, I'm hoping this is recording. Um, this is, um, just to try and explain a little bit further, one of the questions that comes up a lot, this is this is a tough one, this, um, I, in terms of logic. Um, this is taken from the February March paper, um, 2019 Computer Science IGCSC. Um, it's question five, and um, we've got a logic statement. I'm just going to read this to you. Um, consider the following logic statement, and it's a really long one, um, but it's basically broken down into two parts. X equals one if A is one, and C is one, nor A is not one. So that's the first collection of numbers, and yeah, letters. Or B is one and C is not one. So that one, that's fairly straightforward. Yeah, or B is one and C is not one. And then we've got here, draw a logic circuit that represents the given logic statement. Your logic gate, or rather your logic gates, must have a, ma a maximum of two inputs. Do not simplify the logic statement. Okay, well, let's try and break this down a little bit. Um, what I'm going to do, what I want to do in this box, in order to get the six marks, basically what it's saying is, draw a diagram with six different logic gates. Okay, if you draw the six logic gates, you should be getting, um, you identify them all, and you put them in, and if you put them in the correct order with the correct lines, of course, you're going to get six marks. But if you just draw those six logic um, gate symbols and you put them in um, somewhere you'll be getting marks you'll get marks for that okay now with this I'm going to work backwards okay I need to identify the um, the um, statements the logic statements hopefully you can still read this um, I know I've got the video set up on, on, on a, basically a, a flower vase so it's not great so I have this is the important one, the OR gate, okay? And that's still gonna be the first gate I draw. Yeah, but then we've got um, an AND gate, we've got a NOT gate, we've got another NOT gate, we've got an OR gate, we've got a NAND gate. One, two, three, four, five, six different gates are on there. Now, so you can see it a bit better, I'm not gonna draw on this little shape here but this is a six mark question six marks six gates hang on things are starting to add up so i'm going to use this piece of paper here and i'm going to put the x at one corner and then i'm going to put my a can you see that yeah my b and my c on this side Okay, let's see if I can move this without it falling over. Yeah, there you go. Okay, now in between, the one where I've coloured in black is the OR gate, the one that's not in any brackets. So basically, X is on if this is true or if this is true. Okay, so the OR is going to go here at this end. So I'm going to put an OR gate in like this. And that's sort of what an OR gate looks like. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to this. Yeah. Um, and again, I, I did say that the easy bit is the one after the, the OR gate. So B is one and C is not one. So I'm going to do that. Well, I've got an AND gate, yeah? So I'm dealing with B and C. So all I can do is I can put an AND gate, I'll put it down here. Like so, a bit of a long AND gate. I'm gonna write, it, write in AND, yeah? And that one's an OR gate. So I've got my first two gates. That AND is gonna go up to the OR gate. Now, yeah, it says B is one. So B can come all the way down to the AND gate, okay? But C 
It says C is not one. Yeah, C is not one. So from C, I'm going to put in here a not gate. Okay, that's going to go up there, and that's going to go there. Okay, so B is on, C is not on, and that's going into the OR gate. So that's basically covered. Oh, can you see this? That's basically covered that first bit. Yep. Now, this is the tricky bit. Brand old deal, again, working backwards. Nor A is not one. Yeah? Nor A is not one. So up here, going into the OR gate, I'm going to put. Sorry, I'm left handed, so you can't see this. I'm going to put a NOR gate. Remember, all the gates we draw, if the NOR and NAND have got this little circle here, so that gate there is going to be my NOR gate. Yeah? NOR gate. But what's happening with the NOR gate? Well, it says here, A is not 1, going into that NOR gate. And then here, A is 1, NAND C is 1 going into that NOR gate, okay? So I'm going to stick with the first bit. Sorry, I probably didn't see that bit. So yeah, so going into that NOR gate, we've got NOT A. A is NOT on. A is NOT 1 going into the NOR gate. Um, going into the other NOR gate, we've got A is 1, NAND C is 1. Okay, so I'm going to put this in first. I'm going to put this NOT A. So exactly the same as I did with C, so I can try and move that down. So I'm going to put, just re re try and repeat myself. I'm going to put this not A, not what A is not one, into this first, into the NOR gate. Yeah? Very much like I did not C, C is not one, into the AND gate. So it's basically a mirror image of the, of, of the bottom. So I'm going to put a NOT gate up here, like so. And that's going to go into my NOR gate. And that's going from A. Yeah, so I've got that. But I've got this first bracket now. A is 1, NAND C is 1. And that's going into the NOR gate. All right, okay. So if I draw down here a NAND gate, which is basically an AND gate, like so, with a circle on it. And let me just label these so you can see them. NAND. Yeah, and these are not, or an inverter, yeah, or inverters. So I've got that, that, and that. Now, this, this doesn't say anything about a not NAND, it just says NAND. So A is 1 and C is 1 going into the NAND gate. So from A, I can come down here, stick it in there, and from C, I'm going to do that. I'm going to build a little bridge over B, and I'm going to put that in there. Okay, this coming up is going into the NOR gate. So that is basically the diagram. So just going back, if I read this to you, try and put it down here so you can try and so you can see it. Let me try and do this. Okay. Yeah. So we've got X is one down here. Um, if either of these two things, this one here or this one here, is, is on, okay? So if that's zero or that's one, or if they're both one, or if that's zero, or if that's one and that's zero, then this X will be on, okay? So we know, because we know how, how, an, how an OR gate works, um, either of them have got to be turned on, or both have got to be turned on. So, going back through, nice and easy the first bit. B is one, coming into the AND gate. C is not one, coming into the AND gate, and that goes to there. Nice and easy. And then this next bit, yeah, we've got the NOR, the NOR gate, yeah, is um, A is not one going into the NOR gate, and then A is one, yeah, coming down here, and C is on going into the NAND gate, and yeah, they're both going into the NOR gate. So that's it. That is the diagram. That will get you six marks in terms of this question. And that's taken me about nine minutes to explain. So it's quite a, um, it's quite a tough question.
you've got to know your gates, okay? But, as I say, I've got six gates on my diagram. I've got six statements here. If you can tally those up, yeah? If you can draw a diagram with those six gates on, an examiner's gonna look at it and think, yes, they know what they're talking about. The next step is to make sure that the one out of the brackets is the one next to the X, or whatever this output value is here, yeah? But if you dot these around in some kind of order that makes sense, yeah? Because that is, to me, is the right answer. You might find another way of doing it. What it does say is, I believe, draw, yeah, draw a logic circuit that represents the given logic statement. Your logic gates must have a maximum of two inputs. Your logic gates must have a maximum of two inputs. Well, of course, it's got A, B, and C, yeah? Do not simplify the logic statement. So we're not looking at simplifying this. We're not looking at changing anything into an XOR gate or, or messing about with this. You count the number of um, gates, one, two, three, four, five, six, and try and put them into this into this space. Yeah, and you will be, you will do well. That is my advice to you with this. It's not as difficult as you as you might think. Okay, good, good, good. Now in terms of this one. Yeah, we've got these things going in here, A, B, and C. If they're all set to zero, what will X be? If if A is off, B is off, and C, well, we've got to work those through. We've got to put them through. Now, I know students work in very, very different ways, and you can put in pencil one, zero, and then put them on here, or you can use this space here to work it out. Um, I have used the space. I'm not going to go into too much detail, but I've basically put, um, try and show you on the diagram, I've tried to figure out what, that, what the value will be there and what the value will be there at that point and at this point, okay? Okay, so what will the values be there before it goes into the, into the X? Because X basically means yeah, whatever value is here, and whatever value is here, if either of them or both of them are turned on, then X is going to be turned on. X is going to have a value of 1. So looking at this, as you can see here, if they're all 0, then obviously the D value is 0, the E value is 0, and then we're going to get a 0 there. It's only when coming through here, only when we've got a value of one or zero here, which we have in the case of this, because A is going to, through here to the not or, yeah? So it's zero coming out of there, yeah? But then say not or coming through. It's a bit difficult to explain this, but you've got to basically draw the ones and the zeros coming through, okay? But you can break it down further. We could break it down and put some values in here. We could have D, E, F, G, H, and then X. But that's how I want you to be looking at it. So I'm going to leave that on screen for you to have a look at. Yeah. And wherever we've got a one or a zero, we must have a, a sort of the two ones or a one and a zero, we must have a, because that is an OR gate. Okay. So that's it. So please, and I know people don't like doing this, please use your working out. You don't have to do it this way in terms of that. You can put little numbers in pencil maybe on your diagram and ask for as much scrap paper as you need in the exam. But remember, you're going to add that scrap paper back in. So that, my dears, that is answering that question there. Okay, and I've completed the truth table as I've just said. Okay, so that is um, February, March 2019, and that is question five, all about logic. That's probably one of the hardest questions. If you, if you, unless you're really au fait with logic, that's probably one of the hardest questions on the paper, on a paper one. So hopefully, have a practice. We'll get, get some more questions, get some more past papers, have a practice with that. Yeah, and you should be able to pick up 10 marks. Because remember, paper one is only out of believe 75 marks so you've got you get 10 per, you you you're over 10 percent there with just that one question yeah okay right that is it for now thank you very much indeed um i'll see you next time bye for now